We have another Mass Effect part. This time, a lot of talking with our brophy and our sorry friends. Ah, uh, let's start questioning him. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes. Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the record so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. <laughs> We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. No, oh, damn you. That sounds very... We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand deep. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. A studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. 
We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago. In ways we could never imagine. Oh, I love that line. No mission. We will love ED2. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. Uh -huh. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. Well, we probably were. Thank you for talking time. with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> oh. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. Oh. Bartik arrived. That's a nice catch. Anything else, bro? So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. I still have much to learn about this cycle. Yeah. Just walk around on the ship. That's pretty empty. Not like there's much of a crew here. It's Leora. Who are we gonna talk to? Edie upstairs. We got a Turin fire squad. We all love that one. There is new yeah. information on the private messages. Any upgrades? Seriously? No? Terminal. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. He won't, though. Feel free to look around. Soldier. much to talk okay let's see where this room current meeting is gonna go so many missions so many missions those poor colonists are commander you've got a new message at your <laughs> private terminal you just interrupt yourself worth. our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself but he shared a prothean language tutorial program 
It was apparently what? designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Oh. Charming cultural clue. Commander? It's very charming. But Tim. Okay. Let's talk to the end. Joker about our brof in front. Before we start the next mission. Gonna be more talking. So a Prothean? A real live Prothean? Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. What? Commander? How's our new visitor adjusting to the ship, Edie? He appears not to understand the human custom of separate sex restroom facilities. I am attempting to enlighten him. I will update you if there is positive progress. Um, how about you just update me if he doesn't get the message? Very well. Hello, Shepard. So. Okay, mission time. Main mission time. I don't think the meeting will be that long. But I also don't plan on making this video too long. It's already getting dark. It's dark actually. Outside you saw it in the face cam. And I still need to work out. Mass ass relay. There's the meeting. Good. Ah, scanning. Oh. Oh, so cash. That is Laren planet. Diplomatic ships. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen you unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Who the hell? Why the hell am I in a different outfit? Why are you so opposed to the idea, Delatras? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians, or the Asari, or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing. Wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. He succeeded. Then, you sent in a team to clean up his mess and take the females prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? 
How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. Bye. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Bye. I said bye. Ah. This will be interesting. Oh, hell yeah, Jimmy. Sorry. Oh, where's the Mordidama? Oof. Actually looks badass. And, oh, no, it's going to be difficult. I'm attacking. They are, uh... No. Oh, she got that outfit in blue, too. Not so many weird outfits. Which one do I want to take? No, this one is ugly as hell. This one is green. Anyways. Blue heart. Blue is sorry heart. Ah, uh, no, not, not again. This one, did I take this one? No, I took this one, I took Fade. Let's go with Neural Links. I want something else. Viper. I've never used this one. Let's take it. And barrel was ultra light confirm. And let's take something else here too. Particle rifle sure. I uh, might need it. Damn, that's heavy. Anyways. That's good. That's good. Oh dang, sabotage on the drone. There's so many good goddamn abilities actually. Difficult to choose. Just gonna do this fully. Ah, slam a little bit. Not pulling. Lift grenade a little bit. And the rest. And two. Yeah, this. Ammo. I wish I could have team ammo. Ah! <laughs> Good. That's exactly what I wanted. Good. I'll take it. I'll take it. God, this plan is beautiful. This is the Solarian home world we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Just be friendly, mate. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Are you expecting trouble? Who's that? <laughs> He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Beautiful. If it's just a PG or chip G file. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We 
We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? Oof. Eat biotics. Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <sighs> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tachanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Of those colors look weird, especially the blue one. The red one look way cleaner. The weird jumpsuit. Green on him was kind of the wrong color coordination. You are. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. <laughs> Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzed. We've already been down that road. No more. Aww. I don't think I did this the last this time I was here. Where Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Oh, they roasted. Is it a falcon? Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? <laughs> Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. 
Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Salarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. <laughs> Javik's looking confused. What are you talking about? Good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Salarians for lunch. Oh. I'm sure Javik would enjoy that too. Why I say him? A cipher analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers happen against the wall. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? You've revealed the existence of Krogan, who are immune to the genophage, Commander. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? I know about keeping secrets, and I can tell you this wouldn't have remained hidden for long. With all due respect, my people invented secrecy. And somebody else invented a way to breach it. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Krogan aren't the problem anymore. The Reapers are. For now. But once the Reapers are dealt with, history will repeat. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't. When have they ever shown mercy? What did you hear about Vermeer? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Are the Salarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. <coughs> but now, this business with the Krogan. You may have drawn us into it. It's going to happen sooner or later. We'll see. Uh, Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. Yeah, the, he wants to hide from the fight. I don't remember talking to him. Uh, Major. Him you have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. What? Well, that sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Oh, one more important person here.
Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirihi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. It's nice to see you, Major. Same to you, Dr. Tassoni. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. Are the Salarians prepared for war with the Reapers? I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a superweapon of some kind. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turians' support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatresses. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? Our motto in STG is to always expect trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's <laughs> a friend. A Prothean. Prothean? Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? And what are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna bring Char, Robbie, Char, Chevy, to every major main mission. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. How'd you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on to Chunka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. Test subjects were unaccounted for. The females easily escaped his lab. After this, I'll likely be assigned to security detail for our counselor. War has made everyone paranoid. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. Oh, you'd do that. Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. Such a missed opportunity to have him as a squad mate. Such a cool dude. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Oh. Ensure the smooth hand. This is a restricted area. Need. Please stay back. Who gave the Damn order? You. Our superiors. That's all that matters. Damn but you. they're gonna cure the genophage. Let me ship it. Kick open the door. What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. We should get moving, Commander. Hopefully this is nothing. Oh. A loading screen. I'm serious, bro. I thought you said the alert was nothing. But it might be something. These are the females. I'm afraid they didn't survive. What? Malin's cure compromised their immune systems. Did you even attempt to save them? With every technique our science could muster, no effort was spared. Commander, Erdnot Rex only knows about this because I told him. You're his inside source? He had the right to know. One female did respond to treatment. She's immune to the genophage, and the only hope the Krogan have left. She refuses to tell us her name. Trust has been an issue. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. 
Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot Rex and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. I wish we could have done more. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Then I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimen. Protocol has been overridden. Do it! Commander, I'll need to accompany the pod through the quarantine process. You should meet us at the next checkpoint. It seems clear Cerberus doesn't want the genophage cured. That makes no sense. It's... I thought Malan would be taking Morden's place, but it's Wix. Yeah, cool, for sure. You'll see Tachanka again, I promise. To the elevator, Commander! Oh, that it makes no sense that Cerberus is the one attacking. It should have been. Put all research subjects into immediate lockdown. The Reapers. Watch us secure. The Ark subjects. We have a problem. What sort of problem? Security override part responding. Fix it! This isn't the time to delay, Commander. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, just loot. I saw it. Quick slog 162.3. I spent my remaining political capital to safeguard the females. I'm virtually alone in this. Most of SDG would rather eliminate them. Short sighted. Evolution has a grander plan than any one person can ever imagine. The Krogan. Oops, see. Something's wrong with the elevator. It's not responding. There. Try it now, Commander. Bomb! Get back! Thanks, dude. Thanks. Commander Shepard, are you alright? Is there another way out of here? Other side of the lab. Wix log 178.3. Commander, it's Wix. Cerberus forces are tracking our progress. The quarantine checkpoint is under attack. Get there right away. A better understanding of the matrix he employed. Maybe I could reverse the cellular damage. I'm operating blind here. One Krogan shows signs Shepherd, of recovery. We're running out of time. But I'm we need to get out of here. Relax. Oh, just relax, go. Let's climb up this ladder. That's probably the end of this. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female up to the landing pad. I'll try to make life miserable for Cerberus. It should have been the Reapers attacking here. Damn it. Anyways, we're done. We're done. Time to work out. The body. Of the mind.